The gestational sac is the earliest indicator of pregnancy detectable via ultrasound. It can typically be observed using an endovaginal ultrasound around three to five weeks of gestation, at which time the mean sac diameter, MSD, generally measures about two to three millimeters. Its typical off-center location. It is implanted within the endometrium rather than positioned centrally in the uterine cavity. A, the appearance of the double decidual sign, most evident between 4.0 and 6.5 weeks. The yolk sac is the earliest anatomical structure detected within the gestational sac. It is essential for embryonic development, supplying nutrients, acting as the site of initial blood formation, and fulfilling endocrine, metabolic, and immunological roles. The yolk sac appears as a round, thick-walled echogenic structure with a clear, anechoic center inside the gestational sac but outside the amniotic membrane. At around 5.0 to 5.5 weeks, it may sometimes present as two parallel lines rather than a distinct circle. Crown rump length, CRL, refers to the measurement of the embryo or fetus from the top of the head to the bottom of the torso. It is the most precise method for estimating gestational age in early pregnancy, as biological variability is minimal during this stage. The earlier in pregnancy a scan is conducted, the more precise the age estimation based on crown rump length, CRL. If the initial CRL measurement is sufficient, it serves as the baseline for all future age assessments. A fetal heartbeat can be detected as early as 34 days, just under six weeks, of gestation using a high-quality, high-frequency transvaginal ultrasound with a crown rump length, CRL, as small as 1 to 2 millimeters. If a fetal heartbeat is not observed with a CRL of greater than or equal to 7 millimeters on transvaginal ultrasound, embryonic demise may be diagnosed. Confirmation of demise can be made through repeat scans and serial quantitative beta-HCG measurements.